Today, we LED light all the things. You can see I got my multimeter, um, some solder, soldering iron, and a lot of LEDs just kind of strewn about. We got the whole box for the LEDs that I need to get comped for or um, reimbursed for because I brought some stuff from home because we didn't have all the parts we need. But yeah, that's all gonna get lit. The whole console is gonna get lit. Probably gonna do them individually and then just connect them in series in the middle. But probably gonna do a line up here, a line along the back and then down. Um, hopefully that light will bounce into these little cubby holes and then I wanna uh, individually light each drawer so that you know you don't have to turn on the lights for you to go in there and get a controller or something like that. I wanna do something really cool with like the way we store controllers to make sure that every place, every controller has like a place where it can get plugged in and charged and also uh, you know maybe just maybe do something cool. So here are all the things we picked up in order to get this done. First up there you can see is the LED controller and remote. Then there is a power adapter, very important. We got 24 volt uh, versions of the LED strips because they allow for longer run. Then you can see the actual LED strips on the right. Then on the bottom left, we have just connectors. We actually cut these up so that we can connect them to the four wire that you can see on the bottom right and um, the colors of the, that four wire actually corresponds to RGB and black, which is uh, power, which worked out very, very well. So for mounting the LEDs on the TV and the entertainment stand, we went ahead and got some double-sided tape because we didn't want to rely solely on the supposed 3M uh, sticky adhesive on the back of the LEDs. And we also picked up some of these kind of like uh, wire uh, staples that kind of nail into something just uh, for some extra support in some places. One last thing that we needed for this area was some Y splitters that basically take the signal from one LED controller and split it out into multiple that you can run in parallel. That way you can have one controller controlling different runs. So we have one controller that controls the TV, the left entertainment stand, and the right entertainment stand. So taking a look at this first diagram, coming out of the controller at the bottom, you can see we split it once. On the right side of that splitter, we go to another splitter, which I'll show you what's coming out of that splitter in a bit. But on the left side, we basically take some of that four wire I mentioned earlier and run it up to the TV so that we can um, have LEDs behind the TV. And here is how we mounted those LEDs. So this is the LED lighting for the TV. And we're using the adhesive on there, hoping that it'll stick. But we are also using double-sided tape to stick down these connectors. Typically what happens is these connectors start to pull and then they start to slowly pull the rest of it down. So hopefully that won't be the case, but just use these wired connectors that are labeled like RGB and power. And we're just gonna like tape them down like that. So the wiring for the entertainment stands was a little bit more complicated, maybe difficult, but um, pretty straightforward once you know how to connect everything together. You can see coming out of the right splitter, we basically have kind of a reflected setup on each side where across the top back of the entertainment stand, there's an LED strip. And then we use some of the four wire to go down and into the kind of drawer area where we've mounted some LED strips and then we connect the other drawer with some more four wire and it's just literally doing the same thing on both sides but flipping it over in reverse. And um, underneath these drawers is where we use these staples to make sure that um, there was no drooping occurring. So we stapled on um, pretty close to the connectors and then just uh, use the double-sided tape everywhere else. So here you can see the back of the I Ikea entertainment stands. We literally just kind of laid it in this little wire gutter that they already had. So that worked out pretty nice. And here you can see that we just mounted it pretty simply with some double-sided tape in the controller drawers underneath. So yeah, here's what things look like when it's all lit up. You've probably already seen it um, in a couple other videos and on my Instagram and Twitter and stuff like that where 
really nice effect. We can change the color to pretty much whatever we want. And I think it looks pretty sweet. So here's the diagram for the shelving that we did. This is um, a picture I took way before we put up the kind of um, front facing things that um, hide the actual wires in, in LED strips. I figured it was best for demonstration. So you can see it's kind of just one long strand that we're zigzagging back and forth. The only thing that you can really see are a couple of connectors kind of sticking out here and there and then um, the black wires in the back left. One thing we did decide to upgrade kind of, I guess you can say for this part is getting some metal extrusions for the LEDs to go into. These metal extrusions allow you to lay the uh, LED strips inside of them. Then you cover it up with the diffuser you see on the top left. And then they come with these little mounts that you can actually screw in to whatever material you want to mount it to. You could use double-sided tape as well. It gives a much more professional finish and the diffuser helps to diffuse the light really well. And with these shelves, you can actually kind of see under them a little bit. So we wanted to make sure you couldn't see any individual LEDs because that looks like butts. So here's um, kind of the first run with the ghetto rigged electrical taped up there controller. You can see the power adapter coming into the controller and then out of the controller, it's going into the first strip of LEDs, which then zigzags all the way up. And here you can see some of the kind of connectors sticking out. Um, they're just not hidden very well right now. We can fix that up uh, in the future. And it's just zigzagging back and forth all the way up, like I said. And I really love the way this looks. You can actually see there's a little bit of color difference in one of the strips. I'm not sure if I pulled the, that strip from a different set or um, whatever, but it's a it's slight, but um, noticeable, but I'm happy with it. And it just really adds a little pop to whatever you decide to put on your shelves. We've got a whole bunch of old school retro consoles on ours. Here it is with the lights off. It's pretty damn bright. Luckily they are dimmable but uh, we'll just have to dial it in, you know, and see what's good for actually watching TV and playing video games and stuff like that. So yeah, pretty happy with it. Still need to do a little bit to hide the wires. And then we're almost done. We need to um, get the bar stools and stuff set up back there. And then of course, finish the gaming cabinet. And I think the last thing we're gonna have to do besides the shelves and lighting is run the, you have two satellite speakers. There's one back there. We are going to have the subwoofer set up where that box is, and then we're gonna to have to run wires up into the ceiling, into the back, and then we're gonna put two satellites, well, one satellite in each corner, so that we will have true 5.1 digital Dolby surround sound, or Dolby digital, whatever it is. But yeah, I think it looks pretty awesome. I've been posting pics on Twitter, and uh, a lot of people are saying, are concurring, concurring? Yeah, that's a word. But yeah, this is pretty awesome. Stay tuned for more. Gonna do a whole room tour. Just gotta figure out if I wanna do it before or after we um, finish the arcade. I'm leaning for after right now, just so we can get everything finished and set up, but sweet. And I'm gonna bounce out with some nice, crazy techno-y RGB uh, lighting bounces. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, be sure to go check the description for links to all of the things I mentioned and go LED light your life, LED light all the things. Thank you for watching, peace out.